Welcome back from our very quick intermission here. I think we'd give you a quick little look at the maps one more time before we get into game here. As we said, going to be starting off hard point on, say, the Tuscan Berlin show on the front half there. And obviously, if need be, we are going to travel to Bokash on the back half there. So nothing too, uh, too untypical, I guess. Not really the right word, but you know what I mean. We're seeing the same stuff over and over again. This is the MW2 yeah. waiting room. So ultimately, we're close. Yeah, what do you mean? We love Vanguard. We're not waiting no, for yeah. anything. Yeah, we <laughs> we love fans. Call of Duty Vanguard. Shout out to Call of Duty Vanguard. We love the game. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to be getting in here in just a sec. Teams are loading in. As we can see, there is our Saints starting roster, like we already mentioned. Yep. Blaz, Sino, you know, Relaz, and Brandon. Meanwhile, coming from Cleary, we got Seeds and Trees, Gibby <laughs> Beams, Bowie, and I missed the last one, but we will see here in just a sec as the game begins. Is it but... Gibby Beans or Gibby Beams? No, I think <laughs> Beams was one of the... Was yeah, it Beams? Okay, I just was, either one would be great. I just wasn't sure which one it was. Gibby Beams. Oh, it, it is, is okay. Gibby Beams. Yeah, it makes sense. Bowie got got the laser Beams. rifle, so playing. definitely going to make a lot of sense. And we are going to be underway. Berlin Hardpoint, Saints versus Cleary. Nay, Star League Week 3, and say we'll see who draws first blood here. Yeah. Verlaz taking a pretty aggressive standpoint here. First kill onto Beams. Oh, can't ooh, find the second ooh, the one. The laser. Oh, wow. Yeah, he tried it through the wall. Little x-ray vision on there. We're going to see the spray come through. See you plant. Gets the pre-fire. Is going to get traded. Sino actually getting a nice little double there to start things off. So hard point is in the favor of Cleary, though. So they are getting these points up. Saints are going to find kills. Blah is going to find two there. Drop them off. Going to try to find a third here on the long part of the hard point. We'll get switched over there. And so far, Cleary and St. Clair. A little bit back and forth. But St. Clair actually, yeah. St. Clair has the lead on the hard point there. So a little bit of a mix up with the graphic there. All settled aside now. And St. Clair definitely in full control. Yeah, Sino coming up on a little oh. flank. You can't miss those shots, Sino. He's still going to pick up the kill, though, with that sidearm as the point racking up for St. Clair, setting up towards the next part point as well. Gibby Beams trying to get in here. Spots Brandon on the top floor, but the rotate is too quick from Brandon. Oh. Gibby Beams fighting it out dirty here as he's able to win those gunfights. Shut down Blaz trying to get in here, but... Forced to reload, missing some of the shots, and Blaz with the sidearm going to take him down. That staircase seen a whole lot of action so far. <laughs> it was like Gibby trying to hold it down there for the time being, but the Saints, Cleary, did end up getting one on the hardwood, but the Saints definitely in full control, still taking upward here. Sino, going to face check. Two members there is going to get shut down. Blaz got a couple kills there, so Saints, we see Blaz so far 7-1 and one on the board on the seven kill streak as well, so might be eyeing on some streaks there just shortly, so going to try to find those up, and St. Clair still ticking away at this hard point. Yeah, one point on the board for Cleary as Saints finding themselves a 70 plus point lead here coming in. Not only that, not many kills being found for Cleary as well. We're seeing two, seven, two, six on the board, one and five. CU Plank been able to win a lot of the gunfights they've been in, but Sino just winning these fights with this MP40. Sino, another one headshot at that. And now he gets the automaton in hand as well. That's brutal. And it's beautiful. Look at Relias. Has a minute and 12 objective time already. Only three, only four and also still playing great. Hasn't died yet, but just hanging on the objective, being that anchor. Going to pick up another one there. So he's building himself a nice little kill streak here along with mm -hmm. getting this objective time. And just as we said, the Saints, once again, full control of the third hard point. They're at 110 over 100 point differential. And they're still finding these kills in bunches. Yeah, only four points on board for Cleary now. And as they finally got control, the Saints running in and contesting it, almost finding a few kills. See you, Plank gonna fall. And now it's multiple Saints coming in for this contestion. They, you know, they're not gonna let any points head over to Cleary when you clearly have such an advantage in this game. That was a good and one. now they've regained control. <laughs> Yeah, Saints definitely in full control. They're back over that 100 point lead. You're going to see Cito flying around here. Going to find the headshot on Gibby. Just keep this MP40 in hand. Going to get a, those those front face engages, uh, that run and gun style going, say, 11 or 4 in the day so far. So definitely finding his stroke here. Relax is going to find one as well. Seeds trying to hold this angle. Just going to switch back here. Is going to guess the wrong on the 50. Brandon is going to take him out there. And St. Clair, like we said, just full control. Is going to find some kill. Brandon gets find an explosive kill. Going to find two there as well. So Brandon putting together a nice little streak there before he finally gets taken out. I love that Sino runs around the dead bodies and looks for these automatons to round out his Lodo. Yep. He's, like, now he's got the MP40 in hand, as well as the absolute laser oh. of an automaton. We see how well it's working for Blaz, and now when you've got Sino up in that upper angle as well, Relaz coming in, these automatons just absolutely melting players, but Bowie gonna win that fight against Sino. Relaz with the trade. And we mentioned Relaz taking all that objective time. This man's up to 12 and 2 so yeah. far, so performing on the sticks as well. Gonna find lots of kills. Brandon, gonna get a sweet double kill there as well. Actually, gonna find the triple there. So now the Saints, just as we said, they've had full control at this point. They have the perfect defensive positioning. And honestly, Cleary, 
They're looking for any way to squeak in right now because they've honestly just had... There's been nothing doing for them. Yeah, really nothing. Like, they've won a few good gunfights, and every time they get slight, slight control of that point, they get two, three points oh. on it, and Saints just mow them down the same way Relaz is doing right now. That's three on his own. He's looking for the fourth. He's looking around for this one. There it is. Four kills from Relaz coming in the past oh. 10 seconds. He's finally taken down, but all he's doing is just stalling more and more time for the Saints here. 177, about to hit 180. 40 seconds still left on this point, and the Saints are not slowing down. Yeah, shout out to Relazman, the guy that can play the objective and go get those quadra kills when you need it. Now Blaz gonna find two as well, so just every member of the Saints, look at the kills, look at the deaths. Every single member contributing. Lots of objective time to go around. They found a couple streaks earlier on right now. Just been an absolutely clean game. Cleary only getting a little bit of garbage time points, but nothing significant. Blaz, couple Saints are gonna get shut down, so maybe Cleary can try to flip the hard point and try to get some points on the board, because they have a pretty tall mountain to climb right now with the Saints fragging like this. Yeah, I don't think that Cleary's problem is finding those first few kills to get onto the site. It's when they do get onto that site, you have to find fight out that last Saint yeah. who is there while Cleary is already damaged from that last fight. They just haven't been able to get a good hold on this just yet. And it looks like Saints are not going to let him as the points getting dangerously, dangerously close to 250 here. Only 35 points away now. Yeah, this is suffocating pressure from the Saints defensively. Cleary finally got a good little hold on the hard point. They are going to find a couple kills as well, so maybe they can hold it. Although the Saints did get a couple trades back there. Plank still trying to hold this one down. A lot of Saints swarming up on him, though. He's going to have to be on his shot. He's going to find the first kill, actually. going to get shut down, though, I believe, in the second year. Actually, not quite yet, so... Cleary's still holding on to the hard point, still holding on for dear life. They're going to find a few more kills, and at least they're going to push this game a little bit further. Yeah, they're holding out well on this point right now, and Saints haven't really been able to find that multiplayer attack that's able to work for them to get this hard point back. So, looks like these last 15 seconds may just head over to Cleary as the Saints might just opt for the next hard point here. Yeah, I figure only needing 34 points mm -hmm. and finding the kills like they have been, you're probably just going to give give points to Cleary there. They are going to wipe out the entire team pretty much there as well, so getting those exit frags off the hard point. They are going to try to reset for the new one. Saints immediately going to be jumping on it. Brandon finding these long-range kills. Gonna They're going to drop off seeds there in the mid. Brandon going to find a second one with a headshot there and maybe oh, going to try to get the... Grenade. Kobe for the third! Trying to find it. Is going to find the third there. Was gonna try maybe another one behind them. Just saw one on the left. They're gonna find yet another Brandon absolutely popping off on this backside here in the Saints. This is all the pressure they need to keep the hard point clear, and they're doing such a good job. And we had a couple members on some high streaks there as well. This game is about to be over. Yeah, the map awareness from Brandon there to just be just out oh. of sight on everyone he sees. Relazed once again in one of these long angled windows. Glide bomb gonna be coming in at the a end. cinematic shot to end things off. <laughs> yeah, we get the overhead view, bird's eye view to end it as the Saints take that two. 50 to 53, 197 point lead on Berlin Hardpoint. Great map. Look at this play from Brandon here. They could have showed Beautiful. the last like two minutes of this guy's yeah. play. I think he had two or three triple kills in this span there. Look at the KDAs for the Saints. All hovering above that three. Average damage a kill. They're all pretty much equal stats across the board and equally impressive along mm -hmm. the way. And we mentioned Relaz a bunch. We saw Brandon popping off at the end. Relaz, two minutes control time, still finding almost 20 plus kills, getting that 7-8 streak. Every member just getting it done. And they just did such a good job defensively. Once they took that hard point, it was just like death grip, nowhere to go. Yeah, Sino won so many of those 1v1 submachine guns battles uh, you know in that in that first like 150 points it was really Sino and Blast clearing yeah. these out and then second half of the game fell to Relazd and, and Brandon <laughs> and they're going to be clearing it out with the automaton so it's, it's great to see this chemistry coming out yeah especially on on such a hectic map like Hardpoint on Berlin yeah, and that was a huge thing we talked about, being able to swap in all these players in and out, mm. find the same results, find exactly what you need still, and walk away with the first map. And as Call of Duty standard, we're going to take a quick little break, make sure the yep. lobby doesn't break or, you know, ruin anything. So catch you guys on the other side with game two. Ball from the wow. corner in the middle, and Christian and Kaval going to hook up again for the second goal. So. Yeah, once again, another devil going to come through for the Saints, maybe try to send it toward the middle there. Christian is going to be there for the follow. Can he find the second touch? Not quite. F second touch will come through from Quinta. Uh, Kamal looks like all three members getting involved, and the back of the net getting found. Quint going to be the one to put it home. That could be the goal, as we do see Juicy nearly taking advantage of exactly that. But Christian was there right at the nick of time to make that save. As we do see another what fantastic play. move, another hat trick coming out here from Chris out of the zone trying to keep it cleared out there Quint gonna have a lot of boost to play with what does he have in store this time gonna fly through it's gonna get bumped off the ball second man is there to follow great touch off the ceiling great save wow. with Christian once again with the follow Saints just following each other this time by anyway it's gonna go up to Avery to try and get us out of here 
Yeah, gonna get 50 toward the midline there. Quinn gonna be there waiting underneath. Looks like Kamal gonna try to make an air dribble player. Gonna dodge a defender. Nice. Redirection in midair and Kamal getting it done. The demo in the background. Passes on over. No, he's actually taking himself for a second. Battle in the corner. Versus Kamal down center. Looks nice. for a demo. This is the setup right here, but battle. Good interference. Ball is where the middle of the Saints are there for the close. Quint gonna put that one home and the demo. Perfect serve for the time being. Auburn not going away. They are pressing the action right now. They are pressing the attack. Quint gonna be there for the touch off the front of the car there. Maybe get a second touch or the Saints trying to end this game. They're gonna find that third goal. Fantastic counter attack. Quint's gonna bury that one. His second. That fourth goal went in that their winner's bracket run would have been dead in yeah. the water right there, but. They're going to keep themselves in there. Two goals. Still plenty of time to make something happen. Nice pass oh. from Kamal. And what a play coming out there from the Saints offense. Here from the side of the Saints. There we go. Got to uh, stop going to lead nice and early. Shot on target there for St. Clair. Would have been solid. Oh, but the counter attack is going to do it. Kamal's going to get the answer. Exactly what she needs. They're not landing as freely yep. <laughs> as they used to. And we'd expect nothing less coming out here to the Stockton squad. Big pass with a quid, shot on target, big save from Bussy, rebound though, and Christian's gonna brute force it through. Yeah, that was two or three shots towards the net. Yeah, and the one thing with two teams like this at such a high level, mistakes are gonna be few and far between, so both teams, we're gonna have to see some serious outplays for goals. Stockton with a beautiful passing. Wow! Play, and Christian denies it at the goal line, the Saints hold on to the two goals. Holding up just enough now, 21 seconds to play, the Saints gotta try to make something happen, and they gotta make it happen fast. That was a pretty nasty tip, to be honest. It's going towards the net. It's going to force save rebound. And Kamal's going to tie this one up with 14 seconds left. Chase tries to get it past the members of Stockton, but cannot get the job done this time by Christian trying to battle it out. But now to Kamal off the wall. Can he get his own rebound? He's going to try. Wow. And he just broke out by himself. Wow. What a play. From seemingly out of no. A little bit less time to work with. Yeah, and maybe it's not the end of the world for the Saints to kind of have a slow start, especially after like running the gauntlet and having such a crazy series earlier. It might take a little bit to get your feet back under you, kind of get that reset, gonna find a shot there, and he is gonna squeak it between the defenders. Quint and Christian, they get the ball intercepted in the offensive zone there. Christian gonna try to knock this one out of there. Purdue looks like they're playing Christian. Unfortunately, not a whole lot of boost to play. We're still gonna find a way to get toward the net. A reverse tap, gonna try to find the shot, and the follow comes through. There's Quint to hang it up, and two- Like, dumping. Just try not to get scored yeah. on. Yeah. The one good thing for the Saints, you can kind of hang your hat on, is that even though like, it's hard to really call that a mistake, because Christian definitely wasn't ready for the ball to be where it was. Kamal just couldn't get enough. What a shot off the ceiling by Kamal. This man fought. over there. He'll find the demo as well. Saints, maybe get a shot on net here. That's a good little shot toward the corner, but will be denied by Katamak. And now Quint still on the attack, though. Both Saints try to play the two man game as a third for follow. Kamal's there, and they find the goal. All three members getting involved. Tic tac toe. They might actually get a swing on Scrubby here. Oh, when four uh, people swing yeah, you like that. Yeah. What are you going to be able to do? A few flashes. Caillou bringing the team onto site. Jello finding his own. Four tapping is here. He's playing right outside of the smoke. He's ready for these classic nice. shots. Caillou and Jello with the kills. Four tapping, finishing it off, and oh, but he's gonna whiff the first shot. Psyche sliding through. The movement is too good from Psyche, but Caillou, the wall being there, gonna be trading it back. Still a player down from the Saints. The running. We're gonna be getting straight into game two here. Saints taking game one, and now they're gonna be one and oh, headed into Tuscan search and destroy. Let's see what Cleary can do here, Jobin. Yeah, Cleary definitely looking to get on the bounce back show. Things did not uh, not go their way necessarily in game one, so try to retool here in game two, and gonna get a couple little shots there on Blaz, but not gonna walk uh, not gonna walk away with a kill there. So little danger there. Oh, Sino actually gonna find the nade kill, so. A little bit of a uh, little bit of basketball action there. A little Steph Curry three to start things off, and the Saints have the advantage. Yeah, as getting close to this bomb plant, Sino getting set up for it. He's trying to bait out something before he goes for yeah. it. They're actually not going to opt to just take the A plant. Yeah, I could see uh, they're down a man as well, so I could see maybe mm -hmm. just. Well, they're even now. Oh, Sino, oh, yeah, this Cino, is a yep. flank on Bowie here. Bowie, oh. you're not ready for that one, buddy. Sino coming in with oh. that MP40, grabbing two. Only seeds and trees left from Cleary, and now Sino ready to run for that plant. Yeah, what a play. Flank, weapon swap, find the second kill, open up the map entirely, and now seeds and trees playing the guessing game. Oh, maybe you heard the play it. Lots of Saints surrounding him, though, and they will drop him off, and just like that, Saints take round one. Yeah, he was trying to commit to that kill on Sino the planter, but he just saw Blaz's barrel yeah. poking out of church there, out of that bush. Tries to turn, but it's Blaz. Too quick on the reactions. He's going to win that gunfight. 
Yeah, this is that, and that's the beauty of Sino just getting in there with that SMG, mm -hmm. causing mayhem, and you swap to the AR, just able to find that space. Help St. Clair get that bomb site open. Just such a good job once we see. Got the 3k that round as well, so if he could put together another good round or two, maybe we could see a streak or two, but obviously got a lot of work to still do, and Cleary trying to get the bounce back here. Yeah, I was like half confused by him not committing to the plant at first. And then I saw him on this absolutely yeah, the nasty Eure Eureka flank. Moment. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, he knew he was in that <laughs> that window. Gibby, did I get hit by, a, I believe that was a concussion, but Sino finding first blood in the round. Blaz cleaning another one up. Now, only two players from Cleary to try and make this attack. All four left from the Saints. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty tall order for Cleary, especially considering uh, Sino is still alive and well, and I'm sure he'll be flanking someone or in the back line <laughs> shorter than longer, but it looks like Cleary is going to stock up toward B here. They have to try to make some kind of two-man push. If they die, they have to find a trade otherwise. I mean, even then, you're really not looking good on a 1v3 with these teams, but you have to try your best here. Try to find that trade. Starts with one kill, so maybe try to catch a Saint off guard, but Blaz, going to be aware of it. Going to find the first kill, and now Bowie, or Bowie uh, pretty tough order here. Yeah, look at the map here. Ooh, they know he the way too. the Saints are placed, he's about to meet Sino. There is no option for anybody on Cleary to make some rotations. They have to try and press on forward there yep. as all four players cutting off every lane on the map there. Sino going to come in. Bowie, not ready for that. He just yep. picked up the bomb. He's trying to make some kind of rotation, but you're in a 1v4 situation. Yeah, if you're Cleary, I think you have, you maybe try to stack three to a site, maybe try to stick together, and maybe they did last round and they just kind of got picked off early on, which could definitely have been the issue, but For sure. try to maybe stack up a site, even if you run at it, guns blazing, and just say, we're going to just get in a 4v4 fight, take our chances with a bunch of chaos going on. I wouldn't hate that idea, because right now, only finding one kill through two rounds and St. Clair getting a plant down as well, you not really anything to grasp at so far, so they, they got to find some way to try to, you know, full St. Clair get back in this game. Yeah, Sino, about to meet Gibby here on his right, but... He's just going to slow hold this angle. He's oh. ready for it. Oh. Sino, absolutely nasty plays right now in this search game. 6-0 and oh on the street. The plant going to start coming oh. down, but he's got that audio. Oh. He's got the info now. Blaz is ready for any kind of crossfire from upstairs as well. Look at Sino camping in a bush with the MP40 and Call yeah. of Duty. I love it. Just riding under the window. He does hear one to the left here. It's going to get the turn. Slip and slide. Find Steeds and knocks him down. And now the Saints... Four on two. Sino, yeah, Sino just on absolute fire. He's going to get stunned up there for a second, but he still wants to engage here. Oh, I think he hears him above as well. Blaz is going to find the kill. And there's the fourth one as well. St. Clair cruising to a 3 nothing lead. Yeah, not only is Sino finding these amazing 1v1 gunfights for himself, but just the pressure of him being in the church is forcing out the rest of Cleary into these terrible gunfights yeah. they have to take against Brandon and Relaz yeah. as they have to try and fight long range against that Atomicon. Yeah. Yeah, Sino basically just gets up in their face and either wins the engagement or forces them to run mm -hmm. into people that have assault rifles just trained and waiting for them to run across. And as we said, still only one kill for the side of Cleary. So Saints, we're trying to have a golden search run here. And Sino, as we said, 7-0 and should have some streaks near, uh, at least in the near future if he's able to find one or two more for sure, I would suspect. So definitely a very good start for the Saints. And like we said, Cleary, got to start with one. So you got to try to maybe get this first blood and try to find a lot of space. But right now, the Saints have been shutting it down. Yeah, for sure. And... Even at this moment, we see the Saints already posted up now on this defense. Relazed, holding hard on this angle over the fruit counter there. <laughs> Sino is going to hold this with the automaton. Maybe he can spot a pixel there to the left. Nate's going to come across. Maybe he's got some audio cue. He's definitely ready for this peak here. Looks like Punk might be as well. Sino just holding a very, very tight angle. A couple skirmishes backside mid there. Gonna see the bomb clear. He's slowly stacking toward this A site, so I would suspect that's where they're gonna try to make the push. Yeah, they're gonna send the bomb bomb carrier long there. Looks like someone's gonna push up, though. Looks like it'll be Relaz gonna push up. Gonna get traded out, though. So now, one for one. Saints are gonna continue the fight, though. What, looks like he's gonna try to find the kill. Sino still waiting in the corner. Lots of damage on the carry. He's gonna walk, walk up with the pistol, find the kill, and he will finally get taken out, but now down to a 2v1. Yeah, Blaz and Brandon now have to rotate towards this A-side, but Blaz, Ooh. quick on his feet there, but CU Plank already ready for that angle. Now, 1v1, CU forced to plant the bomb in these next few seconds here. It's Brandon going to come in and contest that with the headshot. He's going to take the kill and take the round. 4-0 now for Saints in this search and destroy game. And you know the Saints are playing well when that was Brandon's first kill of the game in round yeah. four. He just casually yeah. going 0-1, just holding angles, just chilling out. Maybe got hit by a grenade or something earlier, but 
chilling out, letting Sino and the other yeah. guys do all the work, and then he pops up when he has to, clutches up there. Yeah, that whole round, he was just holding, like, back spawn yeah. near B, <laughs> and just waiting until, you know, we got the intel, okay, we don't, last guy's left on A, let's, now it's time for the 1v1, the time is ticking down on their side, why not just play for it when you're on defense? See, Brandon, gonna throw that early in eight. Always try to find that cross map, Nate. We see it so many times on this map, and I, I always love when it lands. It's a beautiful thing to see. Gibby jumping out of the window here. Maybe he got some he info. spotted somebody. He actually did. I think he's got some info there. Sino laying down. Cruise Missile is gonna come through, land directly. Actually, not gonna find a kill there, so gonna get a walk away. Streak, not gonna get burned, and Sino is gonna stay alive as well, so. And now, Sino gonna get the headshot on Gibby. There it is. That was the one that Gibby, we thought Gibby spotted out Sino, yeah. but I guess he just kind of had an idea somebody was going to be playing that back angle now. Oh, cheeky flank. Three players down on Cleary as Sino finding another kill for himself. 10 and 1 right now. Make that 11 as we're moving into this final round. Game point for St. Clair College. Trying to take this 2 0. Trying to make it a 3 0 from the looks of it here. Sino, wow. Yeah. 11 and 1. The Saints did not come to play today. I mean, they did, obviously, but, you know, they didn't come to mess around. Sino just, and he's getting it done every single way. Finding the early round flanks, then that game, able to get the streak off, even though you don't find a kill. At least you scare Cleary. He's able to stay alive during the whole time. And obviously, as we said, 11 and 1, just ripping apart Cleary. As we said, even Blas and Sino, they have more kills than the entire Cleary team combined. So that's a recipe yeah. for success. And the Saints, they're looking to close this one out and sweep it. Yeah, yeah like you said, Blas currently has equal kills to the entirety of Cleary. I think somebody just spotted someone out, but CU Plank is going to take down Brandon. Now, this is big. This is the first yes. numbers advantage that Cleary <laughs> has had, and they find it on attack, so they might be able to set something up here. The bomb is being planted on B, but it's relaxed. Evening it out there, CU Plank. Shut him down. Sino winning those gunfights where you need him. Great with both guns, too. SMG or yeah. AR. He is just frying kids. Yeah, he is flexing with the hybrid setup pretty good here. He's going to spot one out. He's going to get the jump shot, find the kill on Seeds. Beautiful reset. He's going to switch right to the MP40. They're going to slide through each other, and who else but Sino going to find yet another one to go to 14-1, and one, and Saints will find the defuse, and they will find map two as well, looking to go on match point now. I don't know what it is. The way this guy strafes and slides around during like these slip and fights. slide, man. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to aim at him, and I play on PC. Like, <laughs> if I was on a stick, it's over. It is over. But well, yeah... Wow, Sino coming in. I believe that was 14 and 1 yeah. in that game, taking the 6. Wow. Oh, and then 1500 damage. That's yeah, this is this guy was doing some oh, some extra wow. stuff there. Like we said, when you know when you see Brandon being one of our staples of the team, one of the stronger players we know in the entire yeah. league just has to go 2 and 1 and you win 6 nothing. Yeah. How stacked is the team and how good is everyone playing right now? I who knows? I mean, you guys saw the results right there. 2-0 now for the Saints in this best of five. And, you know, before we get into this final map, which I believe is Berlin Control. Yeah. Yeah, Control there. So, you know, another hectic game mode for Cleary to have to try and battle it out in. And yep. we saw how hard point went for them. So they really got to try and make use of these one-for-one -one trades yep. and try and keep those lives even on control, in my opinion. Yep. And with that, obviously, we're going to take another very, very short break in between maps. As usual, fix the lobby, get everyone ready and reset. Hopefully, Cleary, they're going to try to mount the comeback on the other side here. St. Clair looking to go on match point and clean things out. Catch you guys in a few. Don't go anywhere. Good floater by Kamal there right off the kickoff. The Saints, once again, they do such a good job of cycling the ball from the wow. corner in the middle. And Christian and Kamal are going to hook up again for the second goal. Zone. Yeah, once again, another demo going to come through for the Saints. Maybe try to send it toward the middle there. Christian is going to be there for the follow. Can he find the second touch? Not quite. Second touch will come through from Quint. Uh, Kamal looks like all three members getting involved. And the back of the net getting found. Quint going to be the one to put it home. That could be the goal as we do see Juicy nearly taking advantage of exactly that. But Christian was there right at the nick of time to make that save. As we do see another fantastic play. move, another hat trick coming out here from Chris. Out of the zone, trying to keep it cleared out there. Quint gonna have a lot of boost to play with. What does he have in store this time? Gonna fly through. It's gonna get bumped off the ball. Second man is there to follow. Great touch off the ceiling. Great save. Wow. Christian once again with the follow. Saints just following each other. This time by anyway. It's gonna be up to Avery to try and get us out of here. Yeah, gonna get 50 toward the midline there. Quint gonna be there waiting underneath. Looks like Kamal gonna try to make an air dribble player. Gonna dodge a defender. Nice. Redirection in midair and Kamal getting it done. The demo in the background. 
passes on over. No, he's actually going to take it himself for a second. Battle in the corner versus Kamal down center. Looks nice. for a demo. This is the setup right here, but battle, good interference. Wall is where the middle of the Saints are there for the close. Quint going to put that one home, and that demo, purple serve for the time being. Auburn not going away. They are pressing the action right now. They are pressing the attack. Quint going to be there for the touch off the front of the car there. If you get a second toucher, the Saints trying to end this game. They're going to find that third goal. Fantastic counterattack. Quint's going to bury that one. His second. That fourth goal went in that their winner's bracket run would have been dead in yeah. the water right there, but... They're going to keep themselves in there. Two goals. Still plenty of time to make something happen. Nice pass from Kamal. Oh. And what a play coming out there from the Saints offense. Here from this. And we are back for map three. Cleary versus St. Clair. St. Clair currently holding a 2-0 lead in fairly dominating fashion. Winning, I believe, 240-47 to on hardpoint. Yeah. And then 6-0 in search and destroy. Sino going 14-1 last match in search. Definitely top damage, top everything last game. Great job from the Saints so far, but... We are here for map three and trying to see if Cleary can mount some sort of comeback. Yeah, they got to try now back against the wall. Have to make this reverse 3-0. But, you know, in in good news for us, if they do make this reverse 3-0, we get to see other maps that aren't Berlin we plus good. We get to see some green on our screen. It isn't just <laughs> There's the some green. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't just the Saints logo and the, and the highlights. But Ooh. Maz already coming in, taking a lot of damage in this gunfight. Sino coming in from behind. Traded out by Bowie, though. They were finally keen to see Nose flank. He, he ran up and immediately someone ran up mm -hmm. behind him. Once again, Brandon gonna pop off early on, find a few kills, but Clary gonna get a couple of their own. So a couple little, you know, little trades back and forth. Couple kills going to each side here. We are gonna see. We're trying to play this control point. Looks like it'll be the B point being played first. Blaz, what an angle there to take out Plank. Yeah, but this is what I was trying to say earlier. If you're Cleary, you have to be taking one for ones here because if you're not at least trading out some kills, Saints are just going to slowly, slowly rack up oh. the life lead on you and it's already happening in the past three seconds. We went from even to four kills ahead yep. for the Saints. Now five as B point. Now two ticks down for Cleary, which is good to see, but Saints are just, I think they're just going to focus oh. on defending one. And Relage just jumping around there, getting a quick little B-hop, finding two, going to chuck the nade, not able to find the third there. Seeds will knock him down. Brandon going to find the kill on Bowie. So Saints still in pretty good position here, have a five kill lead already. That B-site still has some progress to go as well, so they're still in pretty good shape, all things considered. They're going to, this B-point looks like it might potentially be finished off. We are going to get a couple of trades though. Going to get knocked out, Relage and Sino going to find a few. So the Saints still just once again extending this lively to a point where if they're able to team wipe one to two more times, this game is bordering on, you know, being pretty dangerous for Cleary. Yeah, 24 seconds left in this round two. Barring the lives, you know, they've only got so much time to capture this point. Trying to make this last tick here, but it comes down to Sino winning his gunfights. Denying that last tick. Now Bowie going to get shut down right off a of spawn too. Siege and Trees spotted out oh. through the fence. Blaz, absolute laser with this automaton. And there it is, 8.2 seconds. Trying to be contested. Gibby Beams shut down as the time keeps ticking for him. Oh, and there it goes. No respawns remaining for the side of Clear. The Saints have whittled down the lives to so only three, 17 to three currently. Sino once again sitting at nine and two, five objective kills as well. They will secure B point, so there will be a time extension. However, it is all on Bowie, and he has to kill 17 Saints to win this game. So we'll see if he wins this engagement. Not going to fire just yet. Try to use that trigger discipline, maybe. But Relaz, going to be there for the cleanup. And just as we saw last two maps, St. Clair picking up where they left off. Yeah, I just think he didn't want to try and start the fight with a pistol. So he tried yeah. to kind of like, <laughs> yeah, prone dodge a few bullets and, and bring back out his AR. But just a little too slow as Relaz caught him out of the corner of his eye. He was able to find that even now. I mean, once again, look at the KDs here. Nine and two on Sino. Six eight streak right now, too. Yeah. Yeah, five objective kills for him as well. He is in there. He is winning those close quarters yep. fights when he's got that MP40 in hand. If he doesn't got the MP40, he's winning the close quarters eight. fights wow. with the AR. Relast and Branded, first two kills of the round here. Yeah, Sino you know, perfectly stunned those first two kills. And now Gibby is going to get the flank. They're going to get the kill on Brandon, but we're going to find one as well. So once again, Cleary, very, very good start. Similar to what we saw last time. They did a great job getting that first couple kills off. Or last, it's going to be on a five kill streak. The one good thing is they did shut down Sino. So at least the fear of streaks, not quite as prevalent right now. But as we said, Relast is on that five streak. And Sino, once again, on these back flanks, just finding it every single which way right now. And the Saints... Gonna try to take this B point as well. They do have a pretty say pretty even in lives as far as it goes right now, but they are getting a lot of progress at B at least. Yeah, speaking of streaks, yeah, I'm pretty sure 
I don't remember which streak it was. I think it was the strafing run, considering we saw a glide bomb yeah. used. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the strafing run is kind of gentleman's agreement, like banned yeah, just I think by so. the yeah. COD community. So it seems like, yeah, knocking him off of that glide bomb opportunity is big as Saints grabbing two ticks at B already and keeping the pressure towards A as we see Relazd over there just solo capping it, about to fight two of Cleary's members himself. Sino running in for support, however. Relazd and Blaz, wow. lots of kills on the kill feed right now, but still fairly even in lives for Cleary. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not quite as down bad in lives as they were last mm. game. It's, it is starting to slip. I think they were up 22-21, so I think it is six unanswered for St. Clair right now. They are going to find the kill to Relaz. Once again, Blaz there for the cleanup, and Sino, this who else is going to find the headshot? Look at quietly again. Relaz, 15-5. and five. Mm -hmm. Sino, 14-5. and five. And St. Clair, once again, just too much pressure in. Even though there was a pretty big li or though the lives are still pretty high, St. Clair able to get those captures. Yeah, one thing St. Clair did there that I don't think I've ever seen in control before is they pretty much triple capped both the points yeah, actually, simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> As every time Clear Cleary was shut down at one point, the ticker was moving up on the other one. And just great, great split there from St. Clair to be able to take that. Relaz and Sino Look at coming out kills. fragging right now absolutely on fire right now this varsity squad is looking good in week three and look at the objective kills too just shutting down the points once they get on there and they are actually going to find three for one to start things off so blaz is going to get two there so once again back on the five streak the saints going to get that early pressure try to get that early lively because when they had that early lead we see how aggressive they play they look to snowball this game try to get cleary out of there and Brandon could be playing from that top banister. Great job to find the kill. Is going to find the second as well. Maybe looking for the third. Finds the triple. Sight gets cleared. St. Clair with a lot of control right now. And a pretty significant live lead to boot. Yeah, Blaz. Oh, whiffing that spray onto Bowie. Leaves oh. him exposed for oh. flank. Sino, oh. look at this flank here. One. Well, how does he Not get able to find a single Team kill one. though. Yeah, team kill from Bowie onto Seeds. Brandon, oh, he's got three. an angle on CU there. Can't seem to find the spray down though. Oh, wow. Blaz gonna find the kill there. Both teams back and forth, but as we said, Saints, the live department is looking pretty good if you're them. They're gonna be back and forth. Blaz trying to find the kill there. Relaz is gonna take out Gibby for the time being. Now the Saints getting a couple kills there. Brandon gonna get, I think it was maybe a melee kill there as well. So now 24 to 14, the Saints definitely feeling it. Sino busting out with the pistol, still finding kills at 16 and 7. All the members of the Saints doing such a good job right now. Look at the objective kills as well. Once they get on these points, it is lockdown city. They are just not letting Cleary breathe. They are going to find a few kills, but the lives are they're getting pretty uh, pretty dangerous here. Yeah, Gibby and the squad, though, might be able to find a few ticks here on A. They might even... Got some they progress. should be able to make it to the second one. Maybe even finish it off as Brandon going to fall. I don't think they can clear out Cleary that fast. Oh, the contest last second. Saints are going to be taking it down now. So only wow. two ticks on A for them. That hurts. That is big. 20 seconds left on the point. They have to either commit... To A or take B two ticks in a row. This is going to be hard for them to do with the rest of the Saints already rotating around. Oh. Sino, absolute oh. demon with this AR as he's shutting them down. 14 seconds left in the round. Cleary in a tough, tough spot. And it looks like this is going to be 3-0 for the Saints. Yeah, this team, not to be trifled with this game, obviously, mm. just totally dominant from opening whistle to the end here. We saw, as Relaz, especially that last game, Relaz and Sino going 20 plus kills to under 10 deaths. All, every member of the Saints, I think, sat at above a 2 KDA. We saw a, a plethora of objective kills, just such a clean game from all the members. And give Brandon a little shout out here in the final kill cam, finding that double spray with the MP40. Actually, I actually think it was a triple there at the end. So mm. just a great job all around. And no matter who you plug and play, this Saints team, they're here to play. Yeah, once again, Sino highest damage on the board. And that is going to be the Saints taking the 3-0 over Cleary University. What a game tonight, Jobin. Yeah, that was definitely... The good thing about COD is even when it's mm -hmm. like a pseudo stomp some of the games, it's still exciting. The it, game is so the fast paced. Fast, yeah. And when you watch Sino slip and sliding around these corners, you know, slide, cancel, fake jump, whatever the, the movement meta is, it's just so fun to watch. And even mm -hmm. though it's a Cleary, they had a couple bright moments in control there. Didn't really... Didn't really have any in search and hard point the first couple times around, but, you know, it happens. They fought back a lot in control there. Almost had some success mm -hmm. at the end, but ultimately the Saints just positioning and just not missing any shots seemed to be the key there. Yeah, Cleary definitely had the right ideas on a lot of the pushes. I, I think the issue was just Saints were able to find so many more singular 1v1 yeah. kills that the lives just ticking down and down in yep. that last game. Even though we did end up going to time, it was the fact that Cleary had 
no respawns left. Saints were still up at 18 yeah. at the end there. but And we yeah. saw, like you said, we saw the old double, triple cap. Mm -hmm. We don't really see that in control yeah. often where a team just straight rinses through B and runs mm -hmm. A and immediately takes it when it's like 20 to 15 for lives or something in that ballpark. Yeah, so you really don't. A little bit that. strange way for the game to end, at least on that front. But the Saints... They're looking to get it done every way, and that's it's good to see. They're like, hey, yeah. maybe they wanted to go in and try to like, hey, we're gonna not. <laughs> we know we like to play for the lives and hang back. Let's play for the double triple cap. Let's try to you know flex our muscles in the yeah. objective mode and say just an excellent job so far. And they will go to three and zero in a star league so far. Yeah, three and zero week three, looking to push all the way through this division. Still topping the division after this yep. week. Great to see. And yeah, personally, I gotta shout out Simo or Sino as like <laughs> MVP there. What, yeah, I think what so. a game just for that search game. Yeah, fourteen and one. Yeah, we saw Relas have a crazy pop off game. I think we saw Brandon pop off game one, but consistently, it just felt like Sino. It looked like Sino was having the most fun mm -hmm. out there. He oh looked, yeah, he looked like you get in that flow state where you just cannot be stopped. Every shot hits. You're sliding through people and around people. Just yeah. everything seems to work out. Hot swap at MP40 to Automaton. Just just working the team every other way he wanted to. And so, yeah, got to give him a little shout out. But obviously, as yeah. we said, I think every player had above a 2KD in that last game. So when you have stats like that, you're going to find the results you want. Yeah, for sure. And that should just about wrap us up for the night. It has been a great time with COD yeah. tonight. Super exciting for all you Saints fans. And uh, yeah, can't wait to be back here tomorrow. I believe tomorrow we have up some. We have a schedule, actually. Finally, we do. We do, have, have we do schedule, finally but... have a schedule. Yeah, at least obviously always a little bit subject to change, but we always keep a schedule now. So today, obviously Thursday, going to be Vanguard. So Friday, we are going to have the Rocket League at six. I think it'll be the Academy team against Valparaiso. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have Rainbow Six Siege, Collegiate R six. I don't think we've had that on the broadcast yet this semester, maybe one time, and we know CR6, very high level yeah. stuff, so very excited to cast that as well. So that rounds out the rest of our week, obviously, today and tomorrow. So hope you guys all tune into the last, uh, to the next streams, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one. Point. They get two, three points oh. on it, and Saints just mow him down the same way Relaz is doing right now. That's three on his own. He's looking for the fourth. He's looking around for this one. There it is. Four kills from Relaz. And one right now. Make that 11 as we're moving into this final round. Game point for St. Clair College. Trying to take this 2-0. Oh. Trying to make it a 3-0 and oh from the looks of it here. Sino, wow. Yeah. 11. I could see uh, they're down a man as well, so I could see maybe just... Well, they're even now. Oh, Sino, oh, yeah, this is a yep. flank on Bowie here. Bowie, oh. you're not ready for that one, buddy. Sino coming in with oh. that MP40, grabbing two. Only season trees and one right now. Make that 11 as we're moving into this final round. Game point for St. Clair College. Trying to take this 2-0. Oh. Trying to make it a 3-0 oh from the looks of it here. Sino, wow. Yeah. 11 shut down as... The time keeps ticking for him. Oh, and there it goes. No respawns remaining for the side of Clear. The Saints have whittled down the lives to only three, 17 to three currently. Sino once again sitting at nine and two, five objective kills as well. Glide bomb yeah. used, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the strafing run is kind of gentleman's agreement, like banned yeah, just by so, the yeah. COD community. So it seems like, yeah, knocking him off of that glide bomb opportunity is big as Saints grabbing two ticks at B already. Pressure. Try to get that early lies because when they have that early lead, we see how aggressive they play. They look to snowball this game, try to get Cleary out of there, and Brandon could be playing from that top banister. Great job to find the kill. He's going to find the second as well. Maybe looking for the third. Finds the triple. Sight gets cleared. St. Clair with a... They progress. should be able to make it to this second one. Maybe even finish it off as Brandon going to fall. I don't think they can clear out Cleary that fast. Oh, the contest last second. Saints are going to be taking it down now, so only wow. two ticks on A for them that is big. 20 seconds left on the point. They have to either commit to A or take B two ticks in a row. This is going to be hard for them to do with the rest of the Saints already rotating around. Oh. Sino, absolute but demon. It's like control of that point. They get two, three points oh. on it, and Saints just mow them down the same way Relas is doing right now. That's three on his own. He's looking for the fourth. He's looking around for this one. There it is. Four kills from Relaz. And one right now. Make that 11.